channel Welcome to my ga Hello dosto so main aa gaya hu ek aur video leke aapke liye aap jaisa ki dekh dekh sakte ho mere piche hai meri adventure 390 aur iske liye मैंने बहुत सारे मॉडिफिकेशंस किए हैं बहुत सारे परफॉर्मेंस पार्ट्स डाले हैं एक भी एस्थेटिक पार्ट नहीं डाला है एंड मोस्टली परफॉर्मेंस पार्ट या लॉन्ग टूरिंग या सेफ्टी से रिलेटेड पार्ट्स डाले गए सो या मैं जस्ट आपको एक ओवरव्यू देना चाहता हूं आई वांट टू शो यू कि क्या-क्या हमने चेंजेस किए हैं इसमें और आप भी कर सकते हो डिपेंडिंग ऑन योर प्रेफरेंसेस लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो लेट्स स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द फ्रंट सो अगर आप सबसे पहला चेंज देख सकते हो तो स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द बॉटम ये एक प्लास्टिक फ्रेम है जो कि नंबर प्लेट के लिए किया गया है ये बेसिकली आपकी नंबर प्लेट जो है जब आपकी बाइक बहुत ज़्यादा ऊबड़ खाबड़ रोड से जाती है जहाँ पे सॉकर ज़्यादा फंक्शन में आता है तो कई बार ये नंबर प्लेट थोड़ी बेंड हो सकती है तो उसको प्रोटेक्ट करने के लिए एक एडिड शील्ड देने के लिए ये प्लास्टिक की फ्रेम्स आती है ये मुझे एक्चुअली मेरे डीलर ने ही दिया आई थिंक यू विल ऑल्सो भी एबल टू फाइंड इट इफ़ नॉट यू कैन ऑल्सो गेट सम गुड ऑप्शन ऑनलाइन मैं कुछ लिंक्स डाल दूंगा डिस्क्रिप्शन में तो ये हमारा पहला मॉडिफिकेशन द सेकेंड मॉडिफिकेशन इज इज गोइंग डाउन बिलो अ लिटिल बिट आप देख सकते हो इसको कहते हैं फोर्क स्लाइडर बाई जाना ये जाना की फोर्क स्लाइडर से दोनों साइड पर लगते हैं और बेसिकली इसका जो रीज़न है जब आपकी बाइक गिरती है तो आपके एलॉय और जो है उसको प्लस आपके ये जो पार्ट है अंदर का डिस्क है इसको प्रोटेक्ट करती है ये इतनी मजबूत है कि इट विल टेक द वेट ऑफ द बाइक ऑन इट सेल्फ एंड इट विल प्रोटेक्ट ऑल दीज थिंग्स कम दिस साइड आपको शायद यहाँ से बहुत क्लियर नहीं दिखेगा बट यहाँ पे अंदर में मैंने एक फोक सील कवर लगाया हुआ है बाइक के ऊपर बेसिकली क्या होता है कि जब आपका सॉकर जो है वो फंक्शन में आता है तो बहुत सारा डर्ट जाता है जैसा आप देख सकते हो ये एम आर स्लश सब जा रहा है अंदर तो उससे क्या होता है कि आपकी फोक जो है वो लीक कर सकती है एंड इट कैन लीक द ऑयल सो दैट सील विल एक्चुअली मेक श्योर कि नथिंग हैपन्स टू इट ओके इस साइड आ जाइए अनदर थिंग विच आई हैव डन इज दिस वन दिस इज कॉल्ड द कैलिपर प्रोटेक्टर सो अगेन दिस इज एक्चुअली यूज टू प्रोटेक्ट योर ब्रेक कैलिपर ये आपकी बाइक को एक अच्छा इन्हेंस लुक भी देगा और प्लस इट विल प्रोटेक्ट योर बाइक फ्रॉम एनी डेब्रीज और एनी थिंग विच माइट हिट योर बाइक ऑन योर ऑफ रोडिंग ट्रिप्स ओके मूविंग ऑन टू द बैक ऑफ द बाइक ये आप देख सकते हो दिस इज दिस इज कॉल्ड द क्रैश गार्ड स्लाइडर बहुत सारे ऑप्शन हैं मार्केट में देर इज अ स्लाइडर बाई इन फेंटेसिया देर इज अ क्रैश गार्ड विद द स्लाइडर बाई साना बट अगेन This one I chose because it goes with the stock crash bar of KTM itself. Because KTM का जो stock crash bar है it's sturdy itself, so you don't need to install a new crash guard. But at the same time, this will give you the added protection. अगर आपके bike नीचे जाती है इस side या उस side, so it will take all the weight of the bike, and it will make sure कि nothing happens to your tank or your handlebar. Again, when you are doing long rides on highways and you get bored, so you can keep your leg here and you can ride. ओके लेट्स मूव लिटिल बिट यहाँ पे एक और uh, uh, ये है इसको कहते हैं कूल एंड प्रोटेक्टर सो यू नो देर इज़ अ कूल एंड इन साइड देर इज़ अ स्मॉल प्लास्टिक कंटेनर विच हैज़ द कूल इंजन ऑयल कूल एंड सो एक्चुअली दिस प्रोटेक्टर विल मेक श्योर कि डिब्रिस रॉक और एनी थिंग डजेंट हिट योर कूल एंड सो इट विल मेक श्योर ऑफ दैट सो दैट इज़ द गार्ड अगेन आई थिंक इट ऑल द लिंक्स आई विल मैंशन बिलो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन ओके मूविंग अहेड यहाँ पे आप देख सकते हो दिस इज दी चेन प्रोटेक्टर दिस इज बेसिकली कॉल्ड द टो चेन गार्ड सो इस ये बेसिकली होती है जब आपके पिलियन को आप लेके जा रहे हो या फिर अगर बाइक फॉल करती है तो इन दैट केस इट विल मेक श्योर कि आपका पैर जो है वो चेन में ना जाए अनदर थिंग इज कि अगर डेब्रीज वगैरह डस्ट वगैरह कुछ भी आ रही है इस साइड से तो इट विल ट्राई टू मेक श्योर कि Your uh, chain gets protection. Okay, the next thing is this uh, rear spooler slider. So basically, 
uh, you know that KTM doesn't have any uh, center stand, so it will mostly have the side stand, and then also uh, when you are taking it to workshops or even you are trying to service your bike, so in that case you have to use the paddock stand. Now what happens is they generally use your chain guard or this part to set up the paddock stand. But if you use this part, use kar rahe, so the paddock stand will rest here and it will make sure that your chases and your chain is chain guard is protected even more. Apart from that, if your bike drops, so again this will provide this slider will provide an extra protection for your bike. At the same time, it can act as a footrest for your pillion. Okay, moving on to the back. This is the uh, rear rack. As you can see from the quality, it's quite sturdy, quite strong. It is by Art of Motorcycle. Okay, it's very high quality product. Or, is pe almost 20, 25, 30 kilo. Jitna cha, utna vazn dal do. To be honest, it will take all that. But the recommendation is ki do not put more than five or ten kgs. Because usse kya hota? Each kg you put here that destabilizes the whole balance of the bike. The whole handle on the handle side you will feel that so just make sure that uh, you do not put more than 10 kgs here but again it's a good quality product especially for people who are looking to put a top box or even put some luggage on this part one thing i missed here was this part so if you can show here this is the shoe stand extender the side extender of the stand by carbon racing so what this <coughs> makes is uh, when you are uh, parking your bike on an uneven surface it will it will give you that extra cushion to make your side stand even more balanced and it can take the weight of the bike okay uh, moving ahead another modification which i did again it is recommended if you are uh, driving on highways or in a slushy environment but not recommended for uh, off roading so this is the universal tire hugger which I have installed again this is not really branded it cost me around 1700 or so by the way I'll mention the uh, cost of each and every part in the description of the video so you can go there and check it out so this basically makes sure that the slush or the water is not hitting your luggage or you directly and making sure that this part little bit is more cleaner so this is for that purpose again you should re remove it when you are do going for hardcore off-roading okay uh, uh, moving to this side I think again uh, this is the spooler which we have already shown to that part that side it's the same thing here moving on yeah this is the important thing so this is called the master cylinder guard this is again by Zana so what th this does is there is a cylinder brake cylinder which is responsible for your engine and for your rear brake so this actually makes sure that your rear cylinder is protected guarded when your bike either falls or when some debris come and protects it from that the next modification is the brake shoe so basically there is a uh, the stock brake shoe which comes with the bike which comes up to this point but again i got this from the art of motorcycle so it gives you this extension and you know what see this see here so this is actually foldable so when your bike falls so what happens is this takes the first impact so first impact is not taken by your brake lever instead of this takes the first impact and it folds so what happens is your your uh, brake lever is protected here so that is the use of this again uh, the next modification is come to the handlebar part show it from here show it from here so the next protection is basically your handlebar so this is again the handlebar by art of motorcycle as you can see uh, the stock handlebar is pretty good here but the thing is that if you see this extra height is coming here almost two inches so this gives you a good coverage when you're trying to stand on your bike during off-roadings or even during long rides and again at the same time I'll just sit and uh, show you so if you can see uh, my elbow my shoulder and my uh, jaw these all three things are in straight line and at the same time my shoulder my lower back and my foot these three comes in a 90 degree angle 
so this gives me much more comfortable ride my back stays straight and at the same time this gives me a good position to ride so makes my journey more and more comfortable okay uh okay the next the next uh, modification is the front oil reservoir protected by zana again this is a carbon uh, fiber i'm sorry not carbon fiber this is aluminum fiber aluminum and fiber mixture sort of and it will protect your uh, oil reservoir from any debris or any kind of damage and it also enhances the look of your bike at the same time come this side only. yeah another uh, modification which i have done is uh, this one so this is basically a tft protector by inscape dreams okay just uh, can you show it from this side here so if you see here i'll try to show so this is this is the connector here okay uh, when when you are putting this in your tft protector it will have a good snug fit but still to give that extra added protection they have added these holders here and you get some rubber bands with it it's a very strong rubber band it's not like an ordinary rubber band it's mixed with plastic so you can actually connect this and this lower part with it and same thing applies to that side so that gives you an extra protection so that stays there so it will protect your bike from any scratches or at the same time it will also protect your bike from dust debris and any damage because tft protectors are very expensive okay the next handle uh, so the next uh, modification is on the handle part so i have put this uh, pro taper thing here so again you might think that this is for the aesthetic purpose come this side from here you can from the aesthetic purpose but again that's not the case actually this actually cons uh, consists of a foam inside let me take this off and show it to you so if you see there's a foam inside it so what happens is when you are using a rally handlebar like this if you brake too hard in a event of an accident then you it, you tend to actually hit this part with your chest or your throat depending on your height so to make sure that you don't get injured this protects this gives you extra added cushion for that okay uh, the next part is come in the front so the last two mod or last three modifications which i have done is this is a headlight protector made by adventure conquest okay so let me tell you something uh, this headlight if it damages due to a rock hitting your headlight or a debris or something it will cost you around 30 to 35000 to replace the stock headlight and this one actually cost you around 17 or 1800 so it's better to put this as an added protection and it's very stable during the off roads also i have tested it not too much but on few occasions and so far it has given me good results so i think this is important if you are putting those uh, ones with the net or the rod metal ones the thing is that there are gaps and it, the debris still can come inside and hit your headlight but if you are putting this acrylic header then i think it will come give you a complete end to end protection they also have a yellow variant in it if you in case you are looking for that okay uh, the second last modification is this windshield so the original ktm windshield which comes with the adventure the stock windshield actually comes to this height and people also go for extenders they instead of changing the windshield just they just put on extenders but what i felt during my research that extenders are not very sturdy during high speeds so instead of that i went with this so this is the windshield by carbon racing and today i've got a chance to test it i was cruising around 120 and it was very very stable i must tell you that it has reduced the wind buffeting by almost 50 to 60% i would say so the wind noise the wind buffeting hitting my chest hitting my helmet which can cause fatigue sometimes during your bike riding so that has reduced it has given me a good balance aerodynamics of the bike has uh, improved a lot so yeah and one point is like uh, you can install this by yourself also but i would recommend that if you are getting this go to a retailer which is recommended by carbon racing and get it in stock so that will be a better option come this side the last modification which i would like to show you is this the mobile holder so if you can show here down below this is the gps unit 
which you get with the windshield itself okay and on this actually these clamps and the stabilizers are resting so the good thing about uh, uh, adventure is they have already ktm has already given a plastic cap here which you can remove and get this part installed they have given it specially for the gps mounting okay on this gps mounting i have got this uh, mobile holder by ram this is called ram quick grip excel this is world's best mobile holder and so far on bad roads on high speeds it has given me unimaginable and brilliant uh, stability i have felt very confident that my mobile will not fall off okay so yeah i think that's pretty much it yeah that's pretty much it thank you for watching please like share and subscribe my video guys